welcome back to the channel guys. We are back here with Hercule Poirot. This time we're going in for the London case. So, alright. So, let's get this started. Oh, we want subtitles on, thank you. We want to turn the music down so we don't get copyrighted. The fact that we have to do this with every game is quite annoying. But Alright. Leaves the shores of Belgium on a new assignment bound for London. Were we in Belgium in the last one? I can't Detective remember. Hercule Poirot? Ah, Chief Commissioner. On the contrary, it is a most convenient time. The safe passage of a painting? Oui, oui. Tell me everything. I wonder if they've improved it at all. So I remember I had a couple of issues in the last one, so... How do I know that painting? And why is it on fire? If man was meant to travel the oceans in such conditions, he would surely have been given his own fins. A distraction is what one needs. Where is that blasted contact? How is one to prepare for an assignment if one does not have all of the required information? Indeed. Very well. I shall wait no longer. Fabulous jacket, by the way, Poirot. Beautiful, isn't she? Pardon, monsieur? The open water. There really is nothing quite like her. When one suffers from the mal de mer, the beauty, as you say, is rather more a burden. Forgive me, I just can't imagine being scared of the ocean in this day and age. The potential to see the world is open to even the ordinary man like us. I can assure you, monsieur, it is not a matter of being scared. And as for ordinary... I didn't mean to offend, mister. I am... Um, hmm? Forgive me, madame. No harm done. Accidents happen. I... My cigarette case. Where is it? I didn't see. You thought they wouldn't a notice? Drunk. A young lady traveling alone. An easy target for you, I bet. I'm sure the young lady would appreciate the help of two handsome strangers. <laughs> Indeed. Not agree with their tracic beverage. I'm assuming coffee. Hmm. Is this her cigarette case? Uh. Okay. 
Okay, can I can I open it? Hmm. Okay. Okay. Wait, I want to see what this book is. Book. Okay. I am. I mean, we don't have our fabulous red socks this time. Oh, oh there is a telescope. Telescope, rather. Ah. There's a telescope in here. I don't mm -hmm. want to yet. Ah! I didn't drop it on purpose. All right. I mean, you do seem kind of drunk. A young lady should not be left to gather her own things. Indeed. You are returning home? I am. But how did you know that? Uh... How do you know I'm returning home? There you go. Besides go your educated Ooh. accent, the crest that adorns your cigarette case, it is of British origin. Very observant. It's the crest of my family, and the case belonged to my mother. I take it everywhere with me. Miss Florence Farquhar, a pleasure to make your acquaintance. But are you related to the Farquaad that is, uh... The pleasure is ours. You know, he's a mean little man in Shrek. That looks like everything. Except for my powder case. Is this what you're looking for? It is. Thank you, Miss... Miss Babanyan. Anastasia Babanyan. Anastasia? What a beautiful name. It was my grandmother's. And well, now it's yours. that's everything now. I can't thank you all enough for your help. I'd be happy to escort you. Here, I'll take your back. Oh, bless him. Oh, yes. Okay, thank you. Cabin four. I'll be right behind you. Anastasia, perhaps I can offer you a token of my gratitude in the bar later? That would be lovely. And you, Mr... Detective Hercule Poirot, at your service. A detective? I was not expecting to meet such a distinguished gentleman on board. I did not expect to meet someone of Russian descent on a ship between the great city of Antwerp and Dover. <laughs> I never mentioned where I was from either. I mean... Uh, yeah, we're going with the accent. I mean, her accent does kind of give it away, bro. Fine, let's go with that. One did not have to. Anastasia, of Russian origin meaning resurrection. And here was me thinking I was special. Mm. Your knowledge of my heritage is most impressive. And I'll take that as my cue to leave. Good evening. It seems it's just us remaining. I would very much like to hear stories from your homeland. Perhaps you would join me in the restaurant. As charming as that would be. I'm feeling rather tired. It must be all the sea air. Then I shall leave you to your slumber. Adieu. As much as I enjoyed the delights of the restaurant, I still found my mind drifting back to Mademoiselle Babania. She really was quite charming. I have spent I mean, the first part so. of this excursion neglecting my duties. It's time to retrieve my notebook from this safe and begin. The combination was not a difficult one to remember. 1815, 
the Battle of Waterloo. Huh. Okay. Oh, no, other way. So, 18. Oh, wrong way. Fifteen. Et voila. Time to... One cannot ignore such a blood-curdling scream. My mother's cigarette case! It's gone! How could somebody do this? They probably dropped it. Mademoiselle, I ask that you take a moment to calm. You're a detective, of course. What luck. As luck would have it, one of Belgium's finest. Not tooting our own horn now, here, bro. I require as many details of the crime as you can offer. I came to my cabin and began unpacking. I couldn't get the safe working, but the gentleman that helped me with my luggage showed me how it works. Afterwards, I went for a brief walk, and when I returned, the safe was open, and my cigarette case was gone. We must consider the suspect list. Those who were aware of the cigarette case's existence. That can only be those who were up on the deck when my luggage spilled. Miss Babanyan, the porter, yourself. And your helpful stranger. Yes, of course. I ask that you gather them for me. And while you are absent, I shall begin my investigation in here, if Mademoiselle permits. Whatever you need to do to find it. It's probably under your bed, bro. Theft of Mademoiselle Facquard's cigarette case has plagued me, plagued me for long enough. Let's consider everything I know and deduce the truth thief. We know nothing at the moment. Can I back out now? Okay. I mean, is that it? Thank you. Oh, where are we? We're hiding in there. Okay. Oh, I can rotate. Cool. Much handier. The sink. Oh. It is a little high. Has anyone meant to reach that? Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh. Uh, yeah, try the sleeve huh. combination. Okay, so we've got four. Oh yeah, it has been moved. Mademoiselle, I thought you would be returning with the gentleman also. The gentleman wanted to speak to the porter alone, first. I was unaware he is also a detective. He's not a policeman. He works in insurance, I believe. It appears I shall be spending my time chasing amateur detectives around the ship. Of course. Mademoiselle, I would like to start with who had access to the safe combination. I haven't finished looking at the bedroom yet. No one. It was in a sealed envelope that was waiting for me when I arrived. I memorized it and threw the paper overboard. Four, three, eight, five. It's really not that difficult to remember. A similar envelope was waiting for me upon my arrival. The date of the Battle of Waterloo, as I recall. After the gentleman helped me with the safe, he left. If the mysterious gentleman is behind the theft, he went to great lengths to hide his fingerprints, but did little to hide his movements in Mademoiselle Farquhar's cabin. There are many questions that require answers. Answers I believe he may hold. But also the fingerprint, I mean, he showed her how to open the freaking safe. Get off. I haven't finished looking. Get off. Which is no sign. Dial. Fine, let's blink that one. The answer was staring me in the face. Can I go now? Thank you. I'll be attending in professional capacity, but I would be very much like to invade the own as a souvenir of my time. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, the gallery. Okay. What's this thing on the bed? Article. Oh, that is tiny writing. Y'all can pause if you want to read that. Oh. Use it for the uh, fingerprinting. Hmm. What, she had just a cup of tea for supper? Mademoiselle Babagnan, I'm sorry we must continue our conversation under these circumstances. On the contrary, what fantastic luck that you are here. Now I get to see you at work. Please walk me through your me movements since our first meeting. I'm afraid I've done very little, actually. After we parted ways, I went to my cabin. I had barely unpacked and I was fast asleep on the bed. Alone? That is a rather personal question, don't you think, detective? No. Not sure. I'm sorry. I'm a little nervous. A poor attempt at a joke. Yes, I was alone. There is no need to be nervous. And then? And then I was woken up by Florence's scream. I have never heard something so terrifying. You have been okay. most helpful, mademoiselle. I shall not take up any more of your time. Um. Okay. Mademoiselle Farquhar, I shall have your cigarette case returned to you before we reach the English coast. I hope so, detective. Newspaper article. I don't you know what it's about. You caught me reading my own article. Oh, she's a journalist. I must say you raise a very interesting point. Art should have no social boundaries. Creativity is for all to enjoy. Thank you for saying that. I wish everyone was as open-minded. The gala yes. invitation. Yes, I'm really quite excited about it. You have been invited to a preview at the Royal Edward Gallery. A small world indeed. Will you be in attendance? It's actually one of the reasons that I have been in Belgium. I was lucky enough to have a sneak peek at some of the pieces on show. I'll also be writing a follow-up article on the success of it. Fingers crossed. Something went weird with the screen there. Lucky indeed. I am sure it will be a great success. Merci, mademoiselle. That is all for now. Okay. I'm sorry, but it's just not acceptable, Mark. I've apologized to the lady. And that makes everything all right? It was an accident. An accident that could have been avoided if you hadn't spent your morning drinking. Gentlemen, you are behaving like two young boys in the schoolyard. It ends now. I don't know any kids that act like that in a schoolyard. He said she said would be in a schoolyard. Uh. Hmm. Fine. We'll go talk to Blondie over here. Is Mademoiselle Farqua aware you are acting as her knight in shining armor? I wouldn't go as far as that. I think perhaps we have got off on the wrong foot. I'm Arthur Hastings. Would she requested you to follow her to her cabin? No. Oh yes, she did. But I wanted to speak with the porter privately. This was part of your investigation? Well, I'm not a detective. I was just, uh... Then perhaps you will answer some questions that are vital to my investigation as a detective. <clears throat> That's fair. What can I do for you? 
Your work is in insurance? It is. Is my employment relevant to Miss Farquhar's missing cigarette case? I hope you will entertain me for a moment. What would you say the chances of proving a theft in a case such as this one are? Well, a report from a detective like yourself will certainly help expedite her insurance claim. As I thought. It had perhaps not crossed her mind before. But being amongst an officer of the law and an insurance man, the idea of insurance fraud may have appeared appealing. You wanted to speak with the portrait alone? When Florence, Miss Farquhar, told me that something had gone missing from her safe, I thought it must have been the porter. How so? I'd rather not say with him standing just there. It is not I that controls the volume of your voice. <laughs> you must have noticed the smell of beer on his breath. I wouldn't put it past a man that drinks on the job to steal. Two very different things, bro. That is quite the accusation. And if you were correct, you wish to settle the matter with him privately? I wanted to give him what for, but uh, I suppose I lost my nerve. Don't I'm what some would call a middleman. I oversee the handling of recently sold items and put the buyer in contact with an appropriate insurer. The mention of insurance initially sparked my attention. But the more he talks of his work, I believe he may be my mysterious contact from Lloyd's of London. It was your work that took you to Belgium? I can't go into too many details, but I'm actually delivering a rather special piece of art to London. I'm meant to be meeting an official of some sorts that's supposed to be helping me, but no sign of them yet. And it is confirmed. It concerns me that my supposed trusted colleague has found himself involved in the middle of my investigation. <clears throat> I will continue to withhold my true identity and see how Monsieur Hastings' involvement concludes. Merci. Okay. This really is an exciting case. Anything I can do to help Miss Farquhar, please don't hesitate to ask. Your enthusiasm has been noted. Okay. We're just gonna casually stroll over here. Perhaps you and I can have a more civilized discussion. I'll tell you the same as I told your friend. I will not be bullied. Intimidation is not my forte. What is, is uncovering the identity of criminals and making sure they are punished to the fullest extent of the law. And that's me? That is what I am yet to conclude. Is it usual for one to consume alcohol while at work? Who said anything about drinking alcohol? It does not take a detective to identify the distinct odor on one's breath. Maybe one to calm my nerves. My sea legs aren't here yet, that's all. I was in the cargo hold, cutting something with my knife, and it slipped. No harm done. I'm not quite sure you understand what that means. So now I am a stupid and a drunk? Yes. Do you have the knife in question on your person now? I don't. He stole it and won't return it. He? Ugh. Right, what we got going on? Hey! hey oh! You stole his knife? What can I do for you? Aha! Uh -huh. uh. Ah! Ah, so it might have been pride open. Safe. Three. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, so what have we got? Wait, it wasn't prized open though. So it can't be that. Um Anastasia sleeping in her cabin, but she was on her own. These things was working in his cabin apparently and had night. In the cargo hold, broken in knife. No, because there's no thing. He however 
Like, he knew the combination code. Inspect the ship, check the fingerprints. I've oh. inspected the ship. Can't go up the ladders. need a dusty thing that ma that makeup people use. Do you have a Of course. Dust? What, what is the case? Insured? Oh no, why would I have it insured? Anything of substantial monetary value. I'll stop you there, detective. The cigarette case itself is hardly worth two pennies, but to me, it's priceless. Not for a second. At least not with my permission. You probably think this silly, naive woman has left her valuables out, or I've just misplaced them. But I assure you, that is not me. It had okay. not crossed my mind for even a moment. Scratches on the door. Uh... He had the knife. Well, I mean, he had the knife, so... <sighs> oh, for flip's sake. Look, all three of these are correct. None of the suspects knew the code. Order and method. Yes, yes. The pieces of the puzzle are finally cut. in here. Check for fingerprints. Well, what's this? Uh, that. Sign of any fingerprints in the dial. We know there's one on the door handle. Magnifique. A fingerprint. No? You found one, detective? Oh, how exciting. I suppose you'll want to take mine. To rule me out, I oh, mean. Oh, she is far too excited about this. <laughs> um... You could ask me anything. Am I to be used as your guinea pig? Of course. I would not dare compare you to a guinea pig. Would you be so kind? The answer is yes, of course. I have nothing to hide. Mm. Uh, that and that. No? Uh, oh, it's blank on the other side, isn't it? So that and that. Ah! Okay, so maybe the mascara. Nah. God, life. So tricky. Uh. 
I mean, she's wearing gloves, though. Of course. Merci, mademoiselle. Uh, right. Don't nab everybody's fingerprints. Oui, you may see. I shall let you re- Ticket. Okay. This will not get me any closer to. I must take a different approach. Oh shush. Oh, do we Another success. Some would say a lucky guess. Okay. So it's a professional. Come now. Think on what had Ah that. Where is the sense in that? How do these two link? Hot on the culprit's heels. Okay, so we've done that. I must consider the suspects I have in front of me. Monsieur Hastings, he is keen to impress Mademoiselle Farquhar and claims that he was alone in his cabin working since. Marc Allard, the porter. Evidence suggests a rather amateur attempt to break into the safe, which in his intoxicated state would make sense. But it was just a ruse. The safe was opened quite masterfully leaving only signs of a poorly attempted break-in. Mademoiselle Babagna, a new friend to Mademoiselle Farquhar, who appeared at a most convenient time. I cannot see a motive besides the obvious value of the cigarette case, but Mademoiselle Farquhar has made it quite clear the value is of a sentimental nature. Perhaps the best thing for me would be to return to my cabin to think. I fear my legs and perhaps even my evening meal Will not last much longer amidst these waves, perhaps. Wait, I think he is actually wearing fantastic red socks. Ah, detective. How goes the investigation? A good detective, better yet, a great detective, will find motive, means, and opportunity. She found it! Miss Babanyan found it! Oh, thank heavens! I was on my way to speak with the captain when I saw something shining underneath one of those pipes. Strange that it was not spotted earlier by any one of us while on the ship's deck. Mm. Maybe the thief was scared and dumped it for fear of being caught red-handed. Miss Babanyan, Anastasia, you saved the day. I can't thank you enough. And you, of course, detective. I find Mademoiselle Babanyan's explanation of Very, finding the cigarette yeah. case rather coincidental. But without any definitive proof... I cannot suggest anything otherwise. The cigarette case has been returned and the coast is in sight, which is what is important. Although, there still remains a part of me that craves the truth. I suppose you can chalk that up as a victory. A victory for Mademoiselle Farquhar, but not in the eyes of the law. Well, if anyone asks, I'll confirm what a splendid job you did. <laughs> Very kind, monsieur. While we are on the matter of truth, Monsieur Arthur Hastings, you are here to oversee the transportation of the penitent Magdalene painting, are you not? How on earth? 
You are aware of my employment, but not of my true identity. Detective Hercule Poirot. Wait, are you the official that I was supposed to have met on board? Damn. Oui, monsieur. Please, accept my apologies for keeping my true identity hidden. But I had to be sure your involvement with the theft was purely coincidental. When it comes to the nature of our work, trust must be earned. A little unorthodox, but I suppose I understand. So you can trust me now? It continues to grow. <laughs> well, we have a couple of weeks before the gala, so hopefully by then you'll trust me with your life. One hopefully can not. hope. See, some of these old paintings are lovely to look at. That one, not so much. pretty. I don't think I'll ever stop being amazed seeing such incredible pieces up close. We're going to leave this video here, guys. I hope you're enjoying. If you are, hit that like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you think. And as always, thanks for watching and we shall see you in the next video. Bye for now.